Hey there. This video is going to talk about something called dyspraxia. Sounds like a fancy word, right? So let's break it down together. Dyspraxia, which is sometimes called developmental coordination disorder, or DCD for short, is a common condition that affects how someone moves and coordinates their actions. It's like their brain and their body speak different languages. It is a hidden condition which is still poorly understood. Dyspraxia can affect all areas of life, making it difficult for people to carry out activities that others take for granted. But hey! Remember, it has nothing to do with how smart someone is. So, someone with dyspraxia can be just as clever as anyone else. So, what might you notice about someone with dyspraxia? Firstly, each person's experience of dyspraxia is different and will be affected by a person's age, the opportunities they have had to learn skills, environmental demands and the support and understanding shown by people around them. There are, however, some common signs of dyspraxia. For example, someone with dyspraxia might be a bit clumsy or have trouble with balance. They might find it hard to stand up straight or their handwriting could be difficult to read. They might struggle with catching a ball or might find it challenging to organize things. Sometimes, they might even feel tired more easily. But, guess what? There's help available. There are support groups where people can share their experiences and get advice. There's also something called occupational therapy, which helps with everyday tasks, finding adaptions that work, and improving their general motor skills rather than helping them with a particular task or activity. And, if they are feeling down or frustrated, there's a type of talking therapy called cognitive behavioral therapy that can help you manage your feelings by changing the way you think and behave. Now, here's where you come in. How can you be a great friend to someone with dyspraxia? Firstly, always include them in activities. Remember, they might just need a little extra time or a different way to do things. Secondly, never assume they are not smart because they are. Offer to be a buddy with reminders, like if you notice they forgot something. Be patient, and most importantly, be kind. If they trip or drop something, don't laugh. Instead, give them a helping hand. So next time you hear the word dyspraxia, you'll know what it's about. And you also know how to be an awesome friend. Together, we can make the world a more understanding place.